Hey everybody, welcome back to the studio and this week's installment of Taboga. Um, I, like I said, I have been thoroughly enjoying uh, these shreds and I did have a request for a full uh, eight rounds on um, the Facebook page. So today we're going to do one full round on um, an exercise called chair twist. And the second round, we are going to do a belly bonfire, and there's two different exercises in there, and uh, we'll do four of each. So, uh, unroll your mats, and we'll get ourselves warmed up. So I invite you to come and stand, uh, planting your feet, find your breath, connect with your body. So important, uh, no matter what style of yoga or what type of workout you're bringing yourself to, you need to bring your whole self. You need to be in your body mentally. You need to be connected, all right? So you want your mind connected to your body, connect everything to your breath, and, and really give yourself that time. Um, for me, my workouts and my yoga and my movement practices are all forms of self-love. And um, I do it because I love my body, not because I hate it. And it always pains me when people say they hate working out because I absolutely love it. It's, um, to me, it's really empowering. So I'm hoping um, that you're enjoying this as well. And uh, so we'll bring ourselves into our space, into the moment. Nice deep breaths. <sighs> let it out, whatever is going on, just let it go. It'll be there when we're done, I promise. 20 minutes from now, you're going to feel great and you're going to have more energy. So let's start swinging the arms, all right? So we're just going to loosen up the shoulders, get the blood flowing to the limbs. Nice deep breaths. Let the arms reach way out, flopping around. Use the weight of your arms to pull. Relax the shoulders side to side. Good. Let them slap into your body. Good. And slow it down. Mm, nice deep breath. Inhale. Hands connect overhead. Exhale. Hands down through heart center. Inhale again. Reach long in the body. Exhale. Good. One more time. Nice and high. Feel the body lengthen. Exhale. Good. We're going to roll the wrists. So we're gonna just come to standing here. We're gonna kind of mentally shift our weight over to the left. We're gonna take a nice deep breath, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna bring the right leg up. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, down. Other side, exhale. Inhale, out. Exhale, close. Inhale down. One more time. Each side. Get that balance up. Inhale. Exhale. When we connect with our body, exhale. Our balance is stronger because we're in there. We're paying attention. We know what we're doing. All right? So, the first to that around and we couldn't get through it without a dog, so hopefully she's going to just stay off in the peripheral and she's not going to destroy anything today. Um, chair pose. So when we're coming into chair pose, uh, feet are underneath our hips. Knees and hips are going to hinge, all right? Everything is going to push back, all right? You don't want to be out here. You want your feet nice and flat. Shift the weight kind of back into your heels, not ridiculously, but enough that you can send your sit bones to point at the wall behind you. So in and up, all right? So taking it down and lifting it up. Really think about getting down into your feet, pressing down into the mat so that you're really powering, creating resistance coming down and powering to come up, all right? Pushing down into the feet. Always hard connection to the mat or the earth. All right, so 
What we're going to do in this pose, and we're going to start off the first couple of rounds, we're going to be really slow and mindful. When we're going through these tabogas, it's important that we don't compromise form for speed, okay? You need to stay in form. You need to really think about your posture, your engagements, where your focus is, all right? So the first one, we're going to take a nice deep breath. Inhale up. Hands come together overhead. As we exhale, we're bringing it down to our chair pose, hips send back, and we're going to twist. If you can, bring that elbow to the knee, perfect. If not, wherever you're getting to, we're gonna inhale, reach, and exhale, other side. Send those sit bones back. Inhale, up. All right, so we're gonna start off nice and slow in the first round, figure out the balance, figure out the movement, and we'll start to pick it up as the rounds carry on. We're gonna go through eight rounds. Uh, this one's for you, Michelle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Getting ready. Starting your tablet workout. Get ready. Exercise. Okay, nice deep breath, inhale. Exhale, sitting back in chair and twist. Inhale, rise. Exhale, twist. Other side. Really digging down into the earth. Good. Last one. Last. Excellent. Step it off. Always use that rest time. It's so important. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bring it down to chair and twist. Keep the back nice and long. Elbows nice and wide. Sit bones pointing behind you. Rest. Good. Rest. Not so bad, right? So as we get going, as I said, we're going to try and pick things up a little bit. Exercise. If you can't keep form, then find your own speed. Create that resistance. Dig down deep. Rest. Awesome rest. Step it off. Coming into round four. Exercise. So the heart rate's maybe coming up a little bit now. Really think Exercise. about muscling down. Reaching with those tailbones, sit bones, twist in the core. Press the palms together. Rest. Excellent. All right. Two rounds left. Here we go. Exercise. Pick up the speed if you can. easy <laughs> go on taking a full round on something. So here we go. Last 
one. Yes. Awesome. Excellent. So we have completed our first round. We're going to take a minute to get ourselves into our second round. Grab a drink. Let the heart rate return to normal. Our second Tabata is a core belly bonfire, it's called. And so we're going to start down on our back. Roll yourself down. We're going to pick our legs up and knees are wide. All right, so hands are going to come behind your head and you're going to rest your head in your hands. You're always kind of pushing back into your hands so that you're not cranking on the back of your neck. All right, so you need to protect yourself here. We're going to come into crunches for our first four rounds. All right, so you're just lifting head, neck, and shoulders and pull the knees, exhale. All right, second set of four. And these ones we've done, we're gonna take ourselves down into a nice long reach and we're just going to crunch up, all right? So inhale and exhale, find your breath, find your movement. Again, we're going to start off with slow repetitions on these so that we can get the movement and we'll pick up speed as we need to. Here we go. Round one, whoops. Oh, honestly, I have such trouble with this. It's because I'm not wearing my glasses. Here we go. So, coming onto our back. Knees are up and wide. Exercise. Good, and go. a slight lift of the tailbone here and lift pressing the head back into the hands use those core muscles good one more rest. and rest let it down nice deep breaths all right ready round two same thing feet up and go I like to think of these as both ends working against the middle. All right, they're tough, but they're very effective and they're really good for getting deep down into those lower core muscles. Here we go, round three. Head pressing back into your hands. Find your breath. Find your own pace and rest. Maya, out. Out, please. Thank you. And here we go. Last round here. Good, two more, come on, you got this. Excellent, big stretch, reach it all out. Oh yeah, whoo, good. Coming in, leave those legs out. Exercise. And lift, lift, keep the elbows wide here. Head, neck and shoulders coming off the mat. Big stretch. Yes. All right. I don't know about any of you, but I am feeling this today. All the snowshoeing has brought me sideways Exercise. in my body. And go lift. 
Find a pace that works for you so that you can stay in frame and in form. And breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Rest. Rest. Two more rounds. All right, here we go. Exercise. One more, we can do one more. We got this, we got this. <sighs> Last round, nice and slow and with deep purpose. workout and you can take as much time in the beginning and at the end with your yoga practice uh, to warm up and to cool down. Um, you could spend you know 10 minutes in meditation coming into your body then go through a couple shreds then find yourself some comfortable uh, stretches to go ahead and do on the floor or standing afterwards. You could go into a whole yoga flow. All right, so we're going to take our right ankle over our left knee, and I'm just going to invite you to come around with both hands, catch behind your left thigh, or reach it all the way around out front to your shin. We're going to flex both feet, and we're going to draw everything up towards the chest. Soften into it, use your breath, let those muscles know that it's okay to relax now. Good, and then roll the ankles, and then roll them the other way. Awesome. We're going to bring our left foot back down to the mat, keep the right foot in place. I'm going to have you send the whole leg package over to the left. Right foot coming to the floor. Arms are going to reach out at shoulder height, palms down. Turn your head to look over your right shoulder. Nice deep breaths and carry them all the way down the corkscrew of your spine. So think about that little twist that's happening in your spine and drag your breath all the way down it and all the way back up. Allow yourself to lengthen and soften. Let gravity be your friend in these stretches and let it just pull you down onto your mat. Excellent. Nice deep breath. We're coming all the way back up. And I'm going to have you switch. Bring both legs down to the floor. Left is coming up over the right. We're going to reach both hands in and around our right uh, thigh or all the way around out front. We're going to flex both feet and we're gonna draw the leg package up towards our chest. Nice deep breaths. Feel that stretch happening in your hamstrings and your hips. And allow your body to soften into it. Allow yourself to surrender. All right, don't fight the stretch. Just allow yourself to fold. Good. And roll the ankles and change directions. Excellent. We're going to bring the legs back down, keeping the left leg in place. Right foot comes to the floor. We're going to send the entire leg package over to the right side of our body. Left foot coming to the floor. And we're going to open up the arms, palms down off of the shoulders. 
turning our head to look over our left shoulder. Nice deep breaths here. Think about that little corkscrew that you've created all the way from the crown of your head down to your tailbone, that little spiral that's happening, and breathe along with it. Soften into it, allow your body to relax. Use the breath. Scan your body for any stress or tension points and really try to send your focus there so that you can get into that spot, understand what's happening, why it's resisting, and hopefully you're able to find some softening there as well while you're there. Excellent, nice deep breath. We're gonna bring everything back up to center. Uncross the legs. We're gonna take them out to a mat width apart and windshield wiper back and forth. So just allow them to flow from side to side. Excellent. I'm going to have you extend your legs out. We're going to take our hands, palms down beside our hips. And what I want you to do is just lift your bottom and send your hands under your body. All right. So you've come to sit on the back of your hands, kind of up into your wrist area. And so what I want you to do is lift up your chest and you can start to walk your forearms under your body. All right, so we're gonna lift up, step the uh, forearms under, and push up into opening our chest. If you take a look down at your feet from here, you can send yourself forward, all right? And just allow that chest and shoulder stretch to happen. Nice deep breaths. Good, and then slowly roll yourself back. Take the hands out, roll the wrists, pulse the fingers, squeeze the forearms, nice little massage here. And then have you bring both feet in. We're gonna catch the knees, pull in, rock it side to side again. Crossing out the ankles, hands coming behind the thighs, lifting head, neck, and shoulders. Create a round in your back and using your core muscles, get a rock and roll happening. This is a really nice massage for your back. Not quite the same as going for a massage, but it's a great way to finish up. Bring yourself back around to seated. Thank you so much for joining me here today, and I hope that you enjoyed the workout, and I hope that the rest of your day is super fantastic. Let's take a nice deep breath. Inhale all the way up. Gathering up all of that energy, seal the hands together, exhale all of that amazing strength and energy into your heart. <sighs> Namaste, everybody.